हार्ट ब्लॉक हार्ट इज अ पंपिंग ऑर्गन विच पम्प्स ब्लड टू ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी दिस पंपिंग एक्शन इज कैरीड आउट बाय द हार्ट थ्रू द ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इम्पल्सिस वाई अ नेटवर्क ऑफ नोट्स वेन द इलेक्ट्रिकल इम्पल्सिस फेल्स टू ट्रांसमिट द हार्ट पंपिंग इज रिड्यूस्ड और स्टॉप्ड कॉजिंग अ सीरीज ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स बाय डेफिनेशन Heart block is an abnormal heart rhythm due to the failure of transmission of electrical impulses which disrupts the normal functioning of the heart. The timing of the heartbeat is generated by the sinoatrial node which is present in the right atrium. This sinoatrial node controls the timings of the heartbeat by generating the electrical impulses which is then passed on to the AV node. The AV node acts like a relay station which slows the electrical impulses before they are passed down towards the ventricles. In heart block no atrial impulse is conducted through the AV node into the ventricles or it is slower than normal. Thus the ventricles either does not contract or contracts at a rate much slower than the atria. as the ventricles does not contract properly it causes inadequate blood supply to various part of the body any damage to the heart due to any conditions can cause a heart block but there are certain risk factors which are commonly associated with it like older age group congenital heart diseases rheumatic heart diseases and an overactive vagus nerve is commonly associated with it medications like beta blockers decoxins sedatives and antiarrhythmic drugs hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia hyperthyroidism and lyme disease are associated risk factors recent open heart surgery autoimmune disorders and kidney diseases are also commonly associated with this disorder heart disorders especially myocardial infarction is said to be the most commonest cause of a heart block at a later age coming to the types of heart block we have the ac node block and the av node block in ac node block the atrial contraction is delayed as the electrical impulses fails to reach the atria In AV node block the ventricular contraction is delayed as the electrical impulses fails to reach the bundle of hays or purkinje fibers In this video our focus would be mainly on the AV blocks which are commonest type of heart block with severe complications if not treated The AV blocks are categorized into 3 based on the degree of impairment They are thus divided into first degree av block second degree av block and third degree av block before discussing them in detail let's begin with the famous heart block poem by the princeton surgical group and the nurses labs which will help you remember the ecg changes seen in each degree of av blocks the poem as it goes if the r is far from p then you have a first degree longer 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 drop then you have a venke bug if some p's don't get through then you have morbids too if p's and q's don't agree then you have a third degree let us now discuss this degrees in detail first degree av block occurs when all the atrial impulses are conducted through the av node into the ventricles at a rate slower than the normal it is defined by ecg changes that include a pr interval of greater than 0.20 without disruption of conduction of the impulses from atria to the ventricles it means all the impulses will reach from atria to the ventricles but at a slower rate this is generally asymptomatic and discovered only on routine ecg the pr interval though slow is constant in second degree av blocks there is an intermittent blockage of the impulses wherein 
some of the impulses from the atria does not reach the ventricles. Thus, there is skipping of beats in this type of AV block. The second degree AV block are further divided into two types, namely Mobitz 1 and 2. Mobitz 1 is also called as Venkepec and is a type of second degree heart block wherein there is electrical impulses reach slower and slower till the heart actually skips a bit. Thus, the PR interval prolongs continuously till a beat is dropped, that is the QRS complex. This usually occurs as a result of the progressive fatigue of the AV nodal cells. In Mobitz 2, there is an all or nothing phenomenon, wherein the his perkinger cells suddenly and randomly fails to conduct the electrical impulse. Thus, there is a drop in the QRS complex on the ECG without any difference in the PR interval as the P wave cannot conduct the impulse towards the ventricles that is the QRS. In third degree heart block there is a complete dissociation of the atrial and ventricular impulses. Thus the ventricles to compensate for the absence of impulses starts to beat on its own in an ineffective manner. In third degree AV block, there is regular PP interval, regular RR interval, but there is no relationship between the P wave and the QRS complexes. The P waves are also more in numbers than the QRS complexes. Let us now briefly discuss some of the common symptoms associated with this disorder. They are dizziness, fainting, chest pain, breathing difficulty, nausea and fatigue. The symptoms are usually vague but may be significant in higher degrees of heart block. This is all for today's video. The second part of this video will be uploaded soon and will include the diagnosis and treatment of heart block. So stay tuned to layman's medicine. Please do like the video and comment in the comment section for any suggestions. Please do subscribe our channel and we'll see you soon.